Hello and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I am your host, Dark Master for Dark Master Series Gaming, and let's get straight into the action. Hello and welcome back. I am your host, Dark Mazda. Now first off, I'd just like to start off with an apology. Um, in a couple of episodes throughout this series, um, there's been some weird audio problems. I'm hoping that I've got them fixed for this episode. Um, I apologise for the last episode in particular, where it seemed to be echoey. Um, I'm not sure why that's happened. And in um, previous other episodes, it seems as though there's been a little bit of um, lag um, in regards to the actual sound of the game, not catching up to what's actually happening on the screen. Um, but the sound from the microphone is following everything perfectly, so I wasn't too sure what was happening there either. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to continue with um, this episode, and we're going to head towards the King, the Windfish's Egg. Um, first off, though, I would just like to um, head into town. I did find out where the blooper goes, by the way. Um, if you remember in the pre one of the previous episodes, uh, we looked all over to see if we could find the pedestal. Um, I did notice it in another episode, but then I didn't mention it, and I thought, well, you know, I might as well just uh, keep going. Yeah, it is actually in that lady's house at the bottom left-hand corner. There's a tiny little pedestal that you can't quite see. And I'm going to have a look at that now. There, you see, right in this corner here, it says blooper. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That's where it was all along. Okay, so, first things first. When you're ready to go to the Windfish's Egg, there is a book here. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Corlint. Do you really want to read it? So that's a yes. Round and round the passageways of the egg. So, I'm going to write these down because these are different for everybody. So I'm going to just get my, f my phone out. Ooh. And I'm going to create a new note. And I'm going to put left, 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 up, left, up, right, up. And I'm going to save that and it's ready for when I want to uh, have a look at it. Hmm, this book reeks of secrets. And that's the only one that we bothered about. So now we know that. We are going to teleport to Dampy Shack. And there's the one part of the map that we have not uncovered yet. And that is where we're heading now. For some reason I've got a feeling that there's something in this water. Don't know why, but hey, there's nothing there. All right, so let's go. I'm sick of saying so. I say it all the time. I know I'm annoying. <laughs> I will try better. And here we are at the Windfish's Egg. We have to pay, play Marin Song, which is the Ballad of the Windfish. Which summons all of our instruments.
And there we have it. All that adventuring for this to happen. And the egg's cracked. And here comes the owl. The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. Windfish's egg. Here we go. Big chasm. Jump into it. Oh dear. Right. Um, I am putting the boomerang on. Okay, so this is the area that we needed our um, code from the book. Just remember that is different for everybody who plays. I think there's like about seven or eight preset ones. Um, so what was it? It was left. 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 Up. Left. Up, right, and up. Here we are. So, this is going to be our final fight. We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Right, so what are we doing with this then? Seems like it doesn't want to go. And try we'll try this. What are we doing with this then? Do we have to chuck some magic powder on it? Ah, there we go. Magic powder. Okay, so that worked out after we figured it out. Right, uh, what? We'll put our trusty boomerang on. We have to hit the red ones back at him, okay? Oh, missed. Oh, not that one. Ouch, quit it. Well, he's just hitting us with the blue ones now. It's not very nice. How oh, man, I hit that. Yeah, don't be stingy. Oh, don't want that one. Right, yeah, have that. 
We do have two fairies if we need them. And we have got our magic medicine. Close, we'll just use the boomerang. Yep. Gotta get up earlier than that to foil us. It's basically all the bosses now, isn't it? Hit by it, not to worry. Right, we're not very good at this. There's one. There's another hit. Is that it? This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. <laughs> Maz, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. The stairway to heaven. Ooh, ooh. 
Hoot. Young lad, I mean Maz, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Maz, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Maz. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. And there we have it. And he's the windfish. Magnificent. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dust awaken, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Some day thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come, Maz. Let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. And everything ceases to exist. Quite a sad ending for a lovely game. All those people that we met. It's part of a big elaborate dream. The wind fish. I love the art style for the cutscenes. And there we have it guys, that is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the nostalgia of this game. Not a lot has changed um, in this game since I played it 20 some years ago on the original Game Boy. Did you enjoy this series? Please let me know in the comments. 
I have enjoyed playing the game for sure. I'm going to let the credits roll and we're going to see if there's any added um, cinematics. And here we are, the credits are drawn to a close. And because we got a zero death run, we get this little animation of Marin and a seagull. She always said she would wish she could be a seagull and fly to distant lands. Maybe the windfish has granted her that wish. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey again. I've been your host, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. Um, I may finish off the series by collecting the remainder of the pieces of heart and the rest of the seashells. But if I don't, please don't be disappointed. There are plenty of guides on YouTube and on the internet um, which will give you them in some sort of numerical order. <laughs> 